Welcome, people. Welcome. Welcome back to Dre Anywhere Sports. Give you live updates and breaking news stories on my teams. Chelsea Football Club. Barcelona Football Club. Lakers. Dallas Cowboys. Harborview. And of course, the reggae boys and reggae girls. Today we have a big game, World Cup qualifier for the reggae girls as they play Grenada away. In Grenada, of course, away game. The last World Cup qualifier, the reggae girls defeated Bermuda inside the National Stadium. First time playing back inside the National Stadium in three years. So as soon as you come in, people, I just asking you one favor. Click the like button and share the live quick and fast. As soon as you come in, one favor, click the like and share the live. Now we have a few things to discuss today and I'm gonna read some of your comments, um, get it out there, get your concerns out there to the public too. Um, concerns that you have with the reggae girls because that's the topic today so that's what we're going to cover the game today world cup qualifier in grenada the reggae girls versus grenada 4 p.m today is the kickoff time 4 p.m so four o'clock today reggae girls versus grenada world cup qualifier the second game for the reggae girls as they recently defeated bermuda by four goals to nil Two, girl, two goals by Bunny Shaw, Khadija Shaw, uh, popular called Bunny. Um, she scored two goals. And um, also we had one from Trudy Carter and then another one from Jody Brown. That's the number 10 Jody Brown scored, number 18 Trudy Carter, and then also Khadija Bunny Shaw, two goals. Um, Many say that the scoreline could have been a lot heavier than that, given the chances and opportunities that were created by the girls. But first game in uh, four months. They last played October. So first game in four months. Um, there were a few new faces. Team playing first time in front of home fans. Um, three years since we last seen the girls in the National Stadium um, in Jamaica playing, whether it be friendly, World Cup qualifier, or tournament. It's the first time we've seen them in three years. So it's been a long time since we've seen the girls. And they put on a, a show. They equal, uh, equal the scoring by balancing it. Two goals in the first half, two goals in the second half. So, big up everybody. Thanks for joining. Click the like. Uh, share the live as soon as in the comment. Appreciate everybody who take them time out out of them morning for giant Dre anywhere that sports over here. Big up on yourself. Um, so, I, I want to go over the 23 player squad. And then um, I'm going to go over my starting 11 prediction for the game today. But before that... I want to say thanks for joining and click the like button and share the live as soon as it'll come in. Appreciate you know, for coming through. Um, so the 23 player squad called up first. There was a 23 player squad that was called up for Costa Rica game under the last coach. Um, that squad was a very, very strong squad. And that's the last time the girls played together. And that squad was Sidney Snyder, Satura, Murray. Uh, Van Sampson, Chantel Swaby, Jade Bailey, that's a Liverpool player. Um, Chine Lu Asha, that's Chini, the number seven who played, um, yes, played versus Bermuda, regular in the team. Um, Kayla McCoy, number eight, she played versus Bermuda too. Atlanta Primus, big striker. Um, she wears the number, she wore the number 10 in Costa Rica game. Um, Khadija Shaw, everybody knows Bunny Shaw, Sashana Campbell, number 12, most cap player for the reggae girls, um, 35 caps. She's been around the block and been in the team a long time. 
Rebecca Spencer, the Tottenham goalkeeper, she started the last game uh, versus Bermuda. Uh, Paige Bailey Gale, another top player from England. Um, she plays at Leicester City. Alison Swaby, uh, she was a captain. Of, she she is the voice vice captain. She played the last game. Bermuda number seventeen was outstanding for us. Um, Trudy Carter. Um, number 18 scored, had a goal um, disallowed, play on was called, but um, from replays, the goal did cross the line. The ball did cross the line, should have been counted, unfortunately for the reggae girls. Um, Tierney Wilshire, she was called up for that Costa Rica game too. Um, very good player. She wears the number 19, came on the, the park for Ban Banfloza. Um, also, we have China Matthews. She's going to be out for a while. Um, in that game, also, we had um, Kanya Plummer was called, wasn't able to make that trip. Um, Adama Luken, number 21, she was outstanding in the last game in the National Stadium for us versus Bermuda. She picked up an injury towards the end there. Uh, we also have Kiki Van Zanten. Um, she was called for that Costa Rica game in October, but did not make her debut. Um, Yasmin Jamison, a regular in the team, uh, been to the World Cup. That was her proudest moment as we interviewed her on the coach's desk the other night. And, uh, of course, the Chelsea number 24 for the reggae girls, most, most outstanding player in those two Costa Rica um, warm-up games, Friend Internationals in Fort Lauderdale, Drew Spence. There's another Chelsea player, Lauren James, highly on the radar for the Reggae Girls and the JFF. Now, look into this squad that we currently have in camp. The players that's included in this squad are Sidney Snyder, Malachi Days, Van Sampson, Chantel Swaby, Michaela Days. She came on um, last game as a substitute. Lauren McFadden, Chinyalu Asha, Kayla McCoy, Alika Keen, Jody Brown. Alika can play right back to and left back. Um, Jody Brown scored. Khadija Shah scored. Sashana Kemba, outstanding most capped players for the Reggae Girls, 35 caps. Uh, Rebecca Spencer, goalkeeper started in the last game, plays for Tottenham. Um, Gabrielle Gale, Tiffany Cameron, top, top player over the years for the Reggae Girls. Um, Dominique Bonflaza, she played and started at uh, right back, number 16. Alison Swaby was outstanding in the Bermuda game. Trudy Carter, had an outstanding performance also, um, dominated the midfield, attacking prospect of the midfield. Um, Thierry Wilshire came on. Oh yeah, by the way, Trudy Carter, number 18, um, she scored. Thierry Wilshire came on, number 19, for Bon Flaza. Uh, many say are expecting her to start today's game, but I'm going to give you my starting predictions for today's game. Um, Kiki Van Zanten, the youngster from... Notre Dame in the U.S. We also have Adama Lukin. She wears number 21, plays on the right wing. Um, she's a dead ball specialist, I should say, or corner kick specialist. She's a corner kick taker on the right side or the left side. She takes both corners. So um, she also picked up a knock in the game versus Bermuda. So I'm not sure if she's going to be starting today or even playing. We, I'm not sure the seriousness of that injury, but if she doesn't play, the player next I'm going to call, she had an interview on the coach's desk with us. A very fun interview. Um, very, very interesting story. You guys go watch back that interview over there on the coach's desk. Um, Myra Gray, Myra Gray, number 22. So she could get the start today on that right wing. And then, of course, number 23 player, Yasmin Jamison. So those are the girls that are currently in the squad. Now, 
the starting 11 that plays for Bermuda, my starting 11 is going to differ a little bit from that starting 11. In goal, coach Vin Blaine went with Rebecca Spencer, the Tottenham goalkeeper. In a 4-4-2 formation that at times was converted to a 4-3-3 formation. Chantel Swaby and Alison Swaby. Chantel from Rangers, Alison from Angel City FC. Those were the back two pairing. Those are the sisters. Um, they played together back there um, in the center half pairing. Chemistry was good between them. As you know, they're sisters. They don't really play. They haven't played at the club level together. Um, at left back, we had Sashana Campbell. And at right back, we had Bon Flaza. Campbell went forward on a couple of occasions. We saw her. Um, use nifty, skillful footwork and use their experience to get out of tight spaces and tight jams. Um, so she had a good game. She also took a shot and goal, the left back there coming forward. Um, on the right side, Bond, she was solid in defensive shape. Um, communication was there with her defenders. Um, she had a good, solid game, uh, but attacking wise, Attacking wise, uh, okay, but, yeah, back three because no shot on her goal really to trouble the keeper, so it was the three of them playing. We were playing without no keeper, pretty much. Spencer was playing sweeper. Um, Bun um, did not go forward on, on occasions. She's very physical, defensive-minded player. But when she did go forward, she did whip a square over inside the box there. Um, I see where when Wilshire came on, however, she's more attacking-minded and speedy player. Nifty on the footwork, skillful too. Uh, Wilshire is a player that will be in the team for a long time if she continues and stay healthy. Um, number 19 player there, Wilshire. And then um, also in the middle of the park, it was Chinyelu Asher paired with Kayla McCoy. Kayla McCoy is normally a striker. That's where she plays for Club Rangers, uh, where she plays with Chantel Swaby. But uh, this game, Coach Vin Blaine um, tried players out of positions and uh, he experimented with the team, given the fact that key players were missing. And he did say this. In his um, interview, his pregame interview, he did say, given the fact that he'll be missing some key starting players for positions, we're going to see um, the versatility of the game. Versatility of the game changed. And he will be displaying some skills of some players that uh, will be put to the test given that there are secondary positions that these players play and they'll be asked to play in these positions today, which was um, the Bermuda game. And we saw where, in particular, that player, Kayla McCoy, was asked to play a deep midfield role to partner um, Chinyalu Asha. Asha, the maestro, she's normally playing more attacking. Um, in the team coming April, then we see the true shape of the team and the strengths of the team attacking wise because we're still going to be missing um, players like Kanye Plummer and um, uh, Matthews and those are key players but we have players um, Swaby, Campbell, Van Samson those are players that can play in the center half position Samson in particular is a center half 
However, when she even came on the field, we saw where um, Vin play her out of position also. Maybe he wanted to look at players playing in different positions to get like the strongest players on the field and not necessarily the strongest chemistry. Well, it's, it's weird how you look at it because if you have two players who play the same position, three players who play the same position, but they are your three best players, do you bench one of them or play that player in, a, in their secondary position so that they're on the field at the same time? So it's a weird position that um, the coach is in. So we'll see what he does going forward when the strongest team is out there together. We'll see where he goes. But once the midfield comes together come April, where we have Bailey, um, girl from, that scored in the World Cup for us. I forgot her name. Salone. She's a... <laughs> it's going to be trouble. The team's going to be really, really tough to select come April in that window. But Maestro... Yeah, Havana Salon. Yeah, she's going to be back in the fall to come um, April. So you're going to have Bailey, who's starting and playing at Liverpool. You have um, Drew Spence, FA Cup, and uh, Champions League finalist. You have Asha. Can't bench Asha. Well, can't say can't, but... Asha is our, one of our top, top players. Maybe third best or second best. Many may agree that it's Allison, um, Bunny, and uh, then Asha. But I believe it's Bunny, then Asha, Allison, right now in the, in the squad. However, when, when players, there's like eight players missing. <laughs> There's like eight players, come to think of it, eight solid players missing. Then, then, missing to uh, Matthews, Kanya Plummer. But I'm not expecting back Matthews and Kanya Plummer for the next round. Though. The players I'm expecting back is about seven players. So we have Drew Spence, Salone, Jade, Paige Bailey, Gale. Marla Sweatman, Blackwood, Den Den. Those are seven that I'm expecting to see back in the team come the next window. But as far as this window is concerned, um, we have some top players in the team that we're expecting big things from in, in this round and also in the future too um, as reggae girls as they continue their quest for next year's World Cup in New Zealand. Um, big up everybody again. Thanks for joining. Click the like button. Formula, big up yourself, man. Uh, much love and respect, you know. YouTube community, support each other. They are just quick. Just a quick pass to respect, man. But yeah, to continue the starting level, then we saw Trudy Carter, the number 10, playing on the left wing. Um, Carter and Kiki, that's the rotation for the left wing for now. Um, what's included in this squad uh, between 20 and 10. Carter, that's her, that's her wing right now. And I expect her to retain her um, starting position for the next game. As I will drop my predicted starting 11 before the end of this video. And it's predicted. Um, although Judy just um, said thanks for the big up. Um, so next we see up front the striker Khadija Shah. She will continue and retain her captaincy. Um, Cam Trudy Carter um, playing just in front of McCoy and um, Asha. So Trudy Carter, she I expect her to retain her role in the starting eleven too. She scored and had a goal disallowed. And then on the right, this is where it's going to be tricky. But when I drop my 11, then you will see um, who I choose. But we have three players capable of playing that right. Adama Lukin, 
she got injured, um, depending again on the seriousness of the injury, she could retain her starting spot or she could be replaced by either Gray or Tiffany Cameron. So I'm not sure where Coach Vin Blaine going to go with this one. Uh, many people had expected to see Cameron start the last game, but he went with Trudy and Adama Lucan. So in this game, it could be um, Tiffany or Gray. Uh, Gray came on in the second half, of course, um, after the injury to Adama Lucan. So it's just tricky where Coach Vin Blaine, but that's where he's going to have his toughest or he could also push McCoy up front. <laughs> he could also push McCoy up front if Adamalukian cannot go. So, like I said, that's going to be a tough decision for him to make today. Um, I disagree with that. She, in my opinion, she... She used her speed to beat a couple of players and she's very good. Lomino formula. <laughs> Moi, yeah, you pronounce it. But yeah, we'd rather go with the last name. We could have just go with the first name, the last part of the name where she said it's okay for us to call her. But we'd rather go with the last name, take on the challenge. But yeah, it's, it's a tricky situation where Coach Vin, Vin Blaine is faced with because... She could play. She could play in that, in that attacking front, because we saw where um, Adama Lukin was fast and skillful on the ball, and she took the corner kicks for us. And so there were some really good corners. There was one that that fell short that um, didn't get past the first man at the front post. The first girl at the front post. I'm used to the same man. Um, but otherwise from that, I think she took five corner kicks. And they all came across at the top of the 18 or at 18 yard spot or just outside the six. There, there were good corner kicks which troubled the goalkeeper. Um, goalkeeper was indecisive on two occasions. Um, she bear, which one led to a goal, of course. So it was difficult to judge her and say that her performance was really good because I saw where she has skill on the ball and also she uses her speed to get around players too. So good link up on a couple occasions with her and Bunny Shaw did lead to opportunities created. She did win a corner. Um, she was hustled off the ball, which I thought it would have been caught. It could have been called a foul on one occasion. Um, where we saw the player kept playing her instead of the ball, so I don't, uh, I don't think she had that of a bad game. It was a good game for her, in my opinion, and I would start her again. But like I said, if her injury is serious, then she will be out for this game. She should be back um, for the next round. But if she's out for this game, Coach Vin Blaine is is facing a tough decision. Now, Kayla McCoy plays in the front three. If he continues with McCoy based, on a, based off her performance in the Bermuda game, then he could and keep her in the, in the center of the park with Asha. Then he could um, play up top. It could be Tiffany Cameron, which I expect him to use, or Myra Gray. Again, big up Gray for giving us an interview and coaches this um, the other night. But uh, we have Kevin say Tiffany should start. So you're going with Tiffany. So it's going. So in, in your case, you're saying Jody, Tiffany, and Bunny. But um, Gray, so if he wanted to use Tiffany, why did he use a substitution and bring on Gray as a second on the right wing? Why not play Tiffany? Why not bring Tiffany as a preview to see how, how she how she played and give us a preview of what to come in the Grenada game and bring on Tiffany instead of Gray. So it's a tough decision because playing on the, the, the right wing, when all right, I can't compare Chelsea <laughs> because Ta Thomas Tuchel, he uses anybody anywhere and they just have to perform in his system. 
um, and they, they, they are capable and they, they know what's at hand if they don't perform. So I can't say if, if, if Zayat get injured, then he has to bring on Adoy, Callum Hudson Adoy, because Adoy plays on either side of the park. Um, Zayat can play cam and wing. You know, Mason Mount, cam, wing, and center midfield. Uh, Pulisic, left side, right side, wing back, right wing, left wing, cam, striker. So that's the team I follow. That's the team I watch. So that's the team I would be comparing them to. But but it's 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 gonna be a tough decision. It's a tough decision. So in a decision, you know, I support them because the team itself is solid and good, and they should be able to take care of this Grenada team with ease. Now, for my starting eleven, I make two changes. Only two changes. Everybody remains the same because of the opposition and all that. I'm gonna bring in my World Cup goalkeeper. Um, not Sidney Snyder, but because of Grenada we playing, I bring in Yasmin Jameson in goal. Same back four. But we know uh, we know the fans are asking for Wiltshire because they saw what she brought um, in the attacking aspect of her game when she came on the field. Big up Warren Webster. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for joining the the. De um, the the live over here. Big up yourself. So, with that said, I'm still going with Chantel and Allison in the middle of the park. Then on the left, I'm keeping Sashana Campbell there. Then in the middle of the park, Asha and Kayla McCoy retains their starting spot. Now, at Cam. I keep Trudy. And then on right back. Making a change at right back. I'm bringing Wiltshire at right back. We saw what Ban Flaza has to offer. Um, we know we want to score a lot of goals. So... I'm going to bring in Wilshire, Tierney Wilshire, the number 19. She comes in at right back. So again, my defense going to be goalkeeper Yasmin Jamieson, Chantel Swaby, Alison Swaby, Sashana Campbell, Tierney Wilshire, not Ban Flaza. Midfield, three midfield players are going to be Asha, Kayla McCoy, and Trudy Carter, number 18. Then, my front three. Jody Brown scored. The youngster return, retains her spot in the starting 11 for me. Captain up top, none other than Bunny Shaw. She stays there in the striker role. And now, with one minute to go, my decision on the right wing. Thanks, Gray, for giving us that interview on the coach's desk. He did come on, put on a show in the last game. Big up, Claudia. Hodges. Yeah, the girl then played today, Claudia. Big up yourself. I have to preview the girl then. Um, how of you played tomorrow? Um, you don't know I could drop one for our view too. Now, on the right wing, I'm going to go with Tiffany Cameron, number 15 for the reggae girls. So that's my starting team. Big up on yourself. Thanks for joining. Going to give you 30 minutes over here. Aureus Lynch, big up yourself. Thanks for joining. Go ahead, um, drop a comment, share the live. We need a lot of goals today. I expect us to score a lot of goals. Um, 8 to 10 goals is my prediction. Big up on yourself. Thanks for joining. Sooner or later, mm. at Coach's Desk. <laughs>